Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you. Both questions would be about immunology and the first question is a commensal bacteria in our gut becomes pathogenic when and you have to choose the correct answer. I hope by now you have read all the variants of the answers and ready to choose the correct answer and I hope you have choose answer C because this is correct answer. But let's read every variant of the answer. So for example, answer A, again, let me read the statement. A commensal bacteria in our gut becomes pathogenic when existing pathogenic bacteria convert the good bacteria into bad. Actually, this uh, happens all the time. We call this uh, horizontal and vertical gene transfer. Horizontal between same species and uh, vertical between uh, different species. And uh, actually, again, this is uh, not what makes uh, bacteria, commensal bacteria, pathogenic until it cross gut lining. And actually, uh, this is when we call infection. This process we call infection. So variant B, uh, our immune cells attack it and it must defend itself. Our immune cells always attack any bacteria. It doesn't matter commensal bacteria or pathogenic bacteria. Our immune cells would attack any uh, bacteria, any antigens. And uh, this can be in the form of different chemicals and so on viruses and uh, many other foreign uh, materials uh, that um, actually not intend to be present in our tissues. So um, variant D, it is allowed to continue existing in the gut rather than being eliminated and uh, commensal bacteria does allow to live uh, and coexist with us in our guts actual number of uh, commensal bacteria in our guts about 10 times greater than number of our own cells. And actually, if we would eliminate all this gut bacteria, we would be seriously sick and may die. We call such um, uh, situation uh, dysbacteriosis, for example, which can be result when we take some uh, medicine, some drugs uh, that has uh, antibacterial properties and kill uh, all the bacteria, including commensal bacteria on which we depend. Next question, innate and adaptive immune responses can be thought of as combining and let's check the variants. Quick versus slower actions taken by our immune system. So let me underline innate and adaptive immune responses. So uh, quick would be uh, innate response uh, of the innate uh, immune system and slower would be of the adaptive uh, immune system. Uh, general versus specific attacks on the pathogens. Again, general would be uh, characteristic of the innate immune system and uh, specific would be characteristic of the adaptive immune system. Next, we're in C. Genetically pre-programmed knowledge versus uniquely developed novel skills. Again, genetically pre-programmed uh, knowledge. This is uh, going to be characteristic of the innate uh, immune system and um, uniquely developed novel skills would be characteristic of the uh, adaptive immune system. So the correct answer, as you see, would be answer D. And this is all for today. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.